this question here. Let's investigate this idea, this concept. Is chivalry dead? <laughs> okay. I mean, people are honest. How many guys would say, I'm going to save myself? <laughs> Good. I like that. You know, there's nothing wrong with honesty. I really wish people would be much more honest. I'm tired of dealing with dishonest people all the time. You know, putting up this front all the time. So it's good. Some people are going to say, you know what? If I'm on the Titanic, I'm getting on that boat. Right? And maybe you're pushing someone off too. Right? Like, I swear, if you ever watch the movie Titanic, anybody watch that movie? Remember that scene where Leonardo's on that raft? Right? He's on the raft at the end there. Or, I'm sorry, no, not Leonardo. Who's the other Who's the actress? Who is? Yeah. What was her name in the? Rose, yeah, that's right. Rose, remember Rose is on that raft, that door. There's poor Leonardo holding on cold. Right? Remember that scene? You guys know the scene? I swear, I look at that thing. There was enough room on that raft for him. He could have, you know, they could have both been on that thing. But instead, what, there's Leonardo. She didn't even think twice of, hey, why don't you get up here? It was more like... It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay? It's a joke. But I swear, I, I, when I look at that, I go, you know, she could have, she could have actually moved over, got him up there too, right? But she didn't do that. She just let him, she just let him freeze. And did you ever see that movie, Moshi? Don't watch it. It's horrible. Don't watch it. Don't watch it. Okay. So here's the deal: Is chivalry dead? Well, let's compare. Let's compare these two concepts. What's the probability that you survived? <laughs> Given that you were, a, you were a woman versus the probability you survived. Given that you were what sex? A man. You see what I'm saying? This is what we want to use to determine who was more likely of surviving, men or women. OK? So here's going to be our question. Which sex? And we're just comparing men and women. We're not comparing males and females. That's a different you know, thing. But which sex, in terms of the older you know, groups, was more likely to survive? Men or who? Women. I'm going to write down the definition. Let's notice this definition, OK? The de this is a conditional probability. How do we know this is a conditional probability, this line? What would you see in terms of language? This is what you'd see. They'd ask you, what's the probability that a passenger survives? Given that the passenger was a woman on a test, I have written this expression, this question down. And I have, at one point, I underlined the phrase, given that. I put it in bold. Because why, what was I trying to attempt to do? I was trying to point out to people who read that test by putting that phrase, given that, in bold or even underlined, or writing it bigger, that this was a what? Conditional probability. Good. This is how you know you have a conditional probability. It has the phrase, given that. You guys OK with that? Isn't it in the definition here? Given that, probability of A. Given that B, probability, this is the notation, of A given B. Definition is the number of outcomes in A and B. So I need the number of outcomes or the number of survivors and women divided by, notice this, divided by N of what? N of 
B. N of B, the number of what? Women. Now, stop for a second and look at how this conditional probability feels. It feels this way. This is what's really happening. They're asking you, OK, of all the women now, not the passengers, of all the women, how many survived? That's a conditional probability. Probability you survived, given that you're a woman. Of all the women now, just look at the women. How many women are there? How many women are in this chart? How many? 422 women are here. So of the 422 women, how many also what? How many also survived? How many? 318. You guys with me on that? What's 318 divided by 422? Right? 318 divided by 422. What is that? Hmm? What is it? Round it to the nearest thousandths. 0 0.754. OK, good. 0 0.754. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that 75.4% of who? The passengers? No. Of who? The total is what? Women. 75.4% or 0.754 as a probability of the women survived. We're going to try to count our list, the white marbles. There, there is, there, there's none. Look at that. What is that? What is that a picture of? What's, what, you guys know what this is called? What was that? What was that? Or what is this symbol? Let's go back to 125. What's that symbol? It's the empty set symbol. Empty set. Isn't this a picture of a set that is empty? Why do they associate this with no solution? This is why. Some of you guys say no solution. You want to know why you associate it with that? Because if you were to solve a problem and list a solution set, if your solution set looks like this, that's another way of saying no solution. Do you have another tape? OK. So 75.4% of the women survived. And this is important information. This is, this is good stuff right here. Let's compare now the probability or the percent of men who what? Survived. Let's see. What's your definition again? Definition is going to be N of survived and man, meaning you're a man who survived, divided by N of what? Good. So now you're considering just the men, not passive.